This brand new high-tech facility is hoping to supercharge the way cell and gene therapies are developed in Canada. It's built to be able to get medications to market faster for less money. We've put in so many years of preparation and work and investment to getting this up and running. It can produce CAR-T medications which are tailored to an individual cancer patient's genes. The process of making them, uh, it really involves specialized uh, technicians in hospitals to draw a patient's blood, take this to a specialized laboratory to reprogram those cells and arm them to be readministered to the patient as a therapeutic product. Production will kick into high gear on Friday. Welcome news for Wilson Chow, who will be working in one of the labs. It's great to be a part of something that is going to expand that here in Canada. It's built to streamline manufacturing, in part using artificial intelligence and robotics like the ones seen here. It'll allow them to optimize their products, reduce cost, and get more access to patients for these specialized therapies that are, in some cases, curative. This is the room where the automatic filler device will go. The robot is 20 feet tall. One of its jobs is filling vials with different drug products. A human can do two to 300 in an hour, a robot can do 2,500. The need for specialized gene and cell therapy manufacturing is growing. These take highly specialized facilities that until now or until the last five years or so just have not been very prominent in the Canadian landscape. And this has an impact for providing therapies once they are approved for patients. We get the benefit of knowing that there's a patient at the end of everything that we do. And that's really motivating for us and for our staff. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.